Hello and welcome back to Vermont Craft Tours. I'm Sarah Scully. It's a beautiful winter day outside, nice and bright and sunny, even though it's only about six degrees out there. Um, and on days like today, I like to stay inside and prepare my meals for the week. Um, and so I wanted to share a little bit about one of the go-to methods for um, making a lot of food for the week at once um, and doing it economically. Um, so a few years ago, I tried a Jamie Oliver recipe for roast chicken, and I hadn't roasted a whole chicken before. Um, most of the recipes I've been familiar with or, or been making on my own called for chicken parts cut up. Um, and I was surprised at how easy it is and also how economical comparatively. Um, here in Vermont, I can get an organic free-range chicken at uh, $3.99 a pound. Um, from my local co-op and the cut up parts are at least twice as much so for just the effort of cutting apart a chicken you can save a lot of money so I get a nice six pound chicken for about twenty dollars um, and there's so many different things that you can do with roast chicken um, so the way I usually do it is the first night or two um, Rick and I will just have the roast chicken parts um, from the from the whole bird um, prepared with some kind of vegetable, often sweet potatoes, and then either broccoli or um, Brussels sprouts, we like those. But you could serve you know, any kind of side dishes or vegetables um, with the roast chicken, of course. I do it very simply. I um, rinse and pat dry the whole bird, put it in my roasting pan, and then I slather it with canola oil so that it gets a nice dark color and a nice crispy skin. Um, put some salt on it and a little herbs de Provence and then roast it at 4, 415 to 425 pretty hot oven um, until it reaches at least 165 um, in the thickest part of the thigh and you know depending on the chicken that'll take a couple of hours um, but it only takes about 15 minutes to prepare the chicken and get it in the oven so um, that's a quick and easy dinner, and um, I'll often do this on a weekend so that I have the two hours to cook the bird. Um, and then once we're finished eating whole cuts off of the bird, um, I can go in almost any direction with the leftover meat and make something completely different and yet still be working off that same um, carcass. So my go-tos lately have been enchiladas, and for those I use black beans, onion, um, some kind of green vegetable, I'll usually sneak spinach in there or something, um, and then wrap that up and put cheese and uh, green salsa on the top and bake those in a tray. Um, you can also add a side of Spanish rice to that meal and extend it. So in addition to the two nights, so that's four meals of just the baked chicken, then I can also usually get two, three, or even four nights of enchiladas, um, especially if I have a side dish, for Rick and I. So that's what, eight, 12 dinners off of one bird, which is very economical. Um, another direction I like to go, um, and I'll put all the, the uh, instructions for these on the, on the website, um, and the different, uh, the different sort of mini recipes that split off from this. But um, another direction I like to do is fried rice. So I would cook some rice in my rice cooker, usually brown basmati rice. Um, I'll add a sauteed green vegetable to that, ginger, hoisin sauce. I like to add American barbecue sauce. I think it makes it sort of taste like American Chinese food rather than authentic Chinese food. Um, and a little bit of hot sauce. And then the cut up um, chicken to that. So fry it in a, a big skillet or or a wok if you have one. Um, and then of course you can go with curry. You can go in a few different directions. So you take your leftover chicken um, and for an Indian style curry, I just use the, either the curry packet or the jar of sauce. Um, there's a couple of different brands that I like. And you know, depending on what direction you wanna go with that, you could make like a potato based curry or you could add a green vegetable to that put the curry powder in and simmer that in coconut milk just to heat the chicken through and serve that over your rice um, and then you can also do a Thai style curry very similarly 
So coconut milk, red Thai curry paste, a little bit of fish sauce, garlic and ginger, and a green vegetable or two, um, again with that leftover chicken. So in any of those meals, you're talking maybe 20 minutes max um, preparation, and then either heating it through or baking it in the oven. So again, a quick weeknight meal that you can just heat up the leftovers from that. Um, so it's nice if you have, you know, Rick and I volunteer and we have other interests. And so often we'll be coming home for a quick supper and then going off and doing something else. So having that ability to just heat up a quick meal, but still have it be, you know, homemade with quality ingredients that we um, chose ourselves, local food um, is just really nice rather than getting like takeout or something. Um, and so that's what I do often, usually at least once a month, often twice a month, is I'll roast a chicken and then make something else out of the leftovers. And I highly recommend you try it. Um, it can be a little bit intimidating at first to roast a whole chicken if you've never done it before, but just have faith in your oven, roast it at a nice high heat, and get yourself a really good meat thermometer, and um, make sure the chicken's cooked and you'll be fine. So enjoy that, have a great week, and uh, eat lots of healthy, delicious local food. Cheers.